Hey guys, Patrick here, and I'm back with another Ender Free slash 3D printing video. If you guys haven't already checked out the upgrades video, you can check it out in the top right here. Anyways, an interesting issue that I've been having while learning to 3D print was that after a while, your print quality just gets worse and worse. And this is because my filament was actually getting wet and it was having a significant impact on the print quality. If you live in a human environment, then this is going to definitely apply to you. And once the f filament is saturated, when you go and use the filament for your, for your next print, when the hot end heats up the plastic to melt, it's actually going to expand the water that's in the um, in the filament as well. So this will cause irregularities with the flow of plastic, meaning that your print is not going to be as uh, smooth as it could be. And I was having all these issues with PLA, and that's already considered a relatively resilient material in regards to hu um, dealing with humidity. So what is the solution? There are two things that you have to do with wet filament uh, if you want to improve the quality back to the original. So first, that is to dry the filament and two it's to store the filament where there isn't any moisture being absorbed so you have to store it in an environment where it's actually dry and there's no humidity so the solution for me was to just order a uh, filament dryer so this is the one that i picked up off amazon this is the sun Lu filament dryer and i got this on sale for around this price here filament dryers like these are pretty good if you only have a couple of filaments that are in your rotation and you don't really want to mess with anything else this is relatively affordable and it's quite simple to use as well the alternative is to get a food dehydrator the benefits of that is it can probably dehydrate um, multiple filaments simultaneously but the problem is you would have to uh, modify the dehydrator and it does take up a little bit more space and I actually looked at some of these food dehydrators and it ended up costing me more to order from Amazon than than one of these uh, dedicated filament dryers so it wasn't really the solution for me. Another method you can do is using an oven. The problem with that is you have to make sure the temperature is being controlled very um, accurately. You don't really want to melt uh, plastic in an oven especially if you're going to use that oven for food. Okay, so once your filament is dry and you can print, you can go ahead and print with it to see if it works. With the Sun Lu uh, filament dryer, you can actually uh, dehydrate the filament while it's printing as well. So there is a benefit to that. So once you're done printing, you'd have to store the filament. And the solution that I decided to go with is by building your own dry box. I didn't go with an off-the-shelf solution this time because it's significantly cheaper to just build your own. All you really need is um, a plastic box, um, a gasket, or some form of seal that can prevent air from entering the box or reduce it to a significant amount, and silica gels. And that's all you need. Side note, these boxes are also great for storing uh, camera equipment or anything that's uh, slightly more sensitive to humidity. So this is the type of box that I decided to go with. This is just a, um, a plastic box from one of these uh, convenience stores quite uh, close to my house. And what I did was install a uh, gasket. So this prevents the air from entering the box. So looking inside here, you can see all these silica gels. And these silica gels are rechargeable, so if they start to absorb more and more humidity, they're going to start changing color and turning green. You can put them in the oven and recharge them, so then you can use them again in the future. And just like that, you can dry your filament and store it and improve your print quality. I've also heard people just drying filament straight out when they open it brand new from the box because they don't know how the filament was stored previously. So if you really want to be safe, you can dry your filament that's brand new as well, or even uh, dry the filament while it's printing. Personally, I don't really see the point. Um, if I'm having issues, then I'll probably chuck it into the, the filament dryer, but if it's printing fine, then I'll just leave it as is, and I'll just use the dry box to store it afterwards. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, then you'll be notified for my next video. I have made other videos about the Ender Free V2 with some of the upgrades and mods that you can do with the printer. So if you guys are interested in that, links are also in the description down below. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Patrick Sacks.